What's going on everyone, this is Carl The Solution is on The Solution to Fitness and today I'm going to tell you five of the worst things to do after a workout. Now there are people out there that have the most intense workouts. Sometimes for a half an hour, sometimes an hour, sometimes three hours. Sometimes they even go to the gym twice a day. But with all that training, they still not seeing the results they want to see. Like they may be getting some results, but they're wondering why the results aren't coming faster than with other people. Of course, there's an excuse that everyone's different, genetics, but maybe, just maybe, you're not completing the puzzle. The map is still unfinished. You cannot call forth Captain Planet because you're missing one of the rings. You know what's crazy? Hollywood has not made a Captain Planet movie yet. It's really culturally diversive too. I figured that they'll be right on that. Anyway, one of those pieces is what you do after a workout. These are the five worst things people do after leaving it all in the gym. And the solution as a special gift will give you five solutions to these issues. And of course, if this video helped you out, do not be afraid to bench that subscribe button, squat that like button, and share this video around like a puff puff passing, as it does help out this channel a lot. A lot, a lot. With all that being said, let's get right into the five worst things to do after a successful workout. Number one, not stretching. People really underestimate the importance of stretching. Heck, even I do sometimes. You need to channel your inner Reed Richards. You got your static stretches, you got your dynamic stretches, you got your ballistic stretches. But a very common question that people ask is when is the best time to stretch? Before or after a workout? Today we'll answer that in our very first don'ts after a workout. There's actually a ton of studies that say stretching before a workout can actually make your muscles weaker more relaxed, more slower. And since your muscles are more relaxed, when you go train insane, your muscle isn't prepared for it. That weak, relaxed muscle doesn't expect the increased intensity. And then boom, injury. Make sense? Muscles are all like, oh man, we're so relaxed. Oh, oh yeah, I think it's a little that was weird. But anyway, one of those reports was done by a doctor named Ian Schreer, who was a sports medicine clinician and researcher and associate professor at the Department of Family Medicine over at Montreal's McGill University. With all those titles, you know his info is legit. There's no doubt you'll have better flexibility and range of motion when stretching before a workout, but heavy lifting is out of the question. The actual best time to stretch is when your muscles are already broken down and ready to, be, ready to be built back up. You ever wonder why your muscles get sore after an intense workout? Well, that's because of a little something called lactic acid. When training, lactic acid begins to build up within the muscle. Stretching your body will increase your blood flow, therefore decreasing the chance of getting injured. And it does this by, like I said, increasing your flexibility. Now, I don't really want to talk too much about that because I may be planning a future stretching video, but those are the main points that you should be aware of. And also, you can get a really good stretch by taking a yoga class after you work out. Just FYI. Number two, staying in the same sweaty clothes after a workout. It is recommended after a workout to go straight on home change your clothes or if the gym has a shower do it there cleanse yourself change your clothes even if you didn't even sweat all that much all these different bacteria can grow on your clothes from all the moist and dirty sweat and, yeah. and then you get like this cold sweat which isn't good for proper blood circulation and this can actually halt your muscle development and your soreness will definitely be extended. And this is especially important for the ladies to know as this can lead to a yeast infection. Those aren't too nice. But I know sometimes this may be hard to do as a lot of people join gyms that are closer to their jobs, especially if their jobs are an hour away from home. Or maybe you have some chores to do right after going to the gym. So if that's the case, just bring an extra pair of clothes with you. Bring an extra pair of socks with you. Plus it's, it's gross to go out like that. That's savages. Number three not eating properly after a workout. The biggest, biggest, and I mean biggest. Did I say biggest? Problem people have after wrapping up an intense workout is negating everything 
by their post-workout meal choices. I just had a super intense workout. You know what that means? I can eat whatever I want. Bring on the pizza, bring on the muffins, bring on the Chipotle. Because Chipotle is healthy, right? You just ruined two hours of progress in five minutes by your piss poor dieting choices. Good job. That hour you spent on the treadmill, you just turned that into, that, that just became negative two hours. Even bad eating habits before a workout is bad, but I'm not gonna get into that as this is a five worst things to do after a workout. Your post-workout meal should include a lot of protein. That's why we have protein shakes. You can have a little bit of fat, add some peanut butter to that shake, and you wanna have your complex carbs to finish it off and replenish all your energy. A good option, you can add a banana to your protein shake. Although those could be considered complex and simple carbs. And please do not wait like freaking 10 hours after you're done working out to have your post-workout meal. Same as before the workout. Let's be smart about this. Number four, doing heavy intense activity after a workout. So I know you're thinking right now that you're all pumped up, you can do anything, you can lift anything no matter how heavy, or you think it adds to your training. It really doesn't. When your muscles are drained, they can't perform their duties to their utmost capability, especially after a long, drawn out, super intense, super hardcore workout. This holds especially true if you didn't do what I told you to do in number three. You didn't feed your muscles right, so they're not healing properly. So doing a lot of heavy lifting with weak, tired muscles can increase the chances of you getting injured. And I don't wanna see you guys get injured, man. Well, you have more time to watch my videos, but no, don't get injured, please. Just imagine that your gym day is shoulder day, so you go and train your shoulders. And then after that, you go go to work or go help grandma lift some boxes because she's moving. You're lifting a lot of boxes for a couple hours. The next day, you want to work out your arms, your bicep, triceps, or your chest. The next day, your soreness is going to be it's going to be a lot more sore than usual. But not only that your joints could be in a lot of pain. And that pain will likely force you not to be able to curl or push as much. That is why it's super important to get the adequate rest your body needs in order to heal, which actually brings me to my number five. Number five, post-workout fail. Not getting enough sleep or not having a proper sleeping schedule. And when I say this, I don't mean after a workout, just go straight to sleep. As I said in number four, your muscles need rest. Let them rest. They're weak, they're tired. Let them rest, you're treating them like slaves. They need rest. Just sit back, relax, watch Netflix, Hulu, Voodoo, Crunchyroll, WWE Network, use a fire stick, uh, go to the movies. You see how many options you got? Get something to eat, chill with your girl or boyfriend, then go to sleep. Try to sleep where you can get as close to 8 hours of sleep as you can. When you finally fall asleep, your body is shutting down, all your cells are clocking out, they're going home to their little cell families to see their cell kids. <laughs> Who remembers Osmosis Jones? No, it's not like that, but that is when your metabolic process gets started. And I know a lot of people don't have that option to sleep for 8 hours but try to do the best you can. This is the best way to help our muscles and our entire nervous system to recover, giving us more noticeable results as the rebuilding process takes its time. This is especially important for athletes and bodybuilders and competitors such as myself who train pretty much every day. But with that being said, those are the five worst post-workout fails and solutions to them. Hopefully, that helped you out. Hopefully now I helped you with the missing pages of your book. But like I said, guys, try to share this video around, or not even not even only this video, share my other videos around videos that you like to your friends, to your family. Try to get this channel a lot more exposure. I just want to grow. Grow, 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 grow. Solution got dreams, man. If you guys are interested in online training, please do not be afraid to hit up my email. Flexible pricing is concluded. Um, hit my email if you're looking to have a, make a diet plan for you, a uh, workout plan, uh, the diet plan fits your macros. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. But with that being said, 
once again, this is Carl the Solutions saying if you got a problem, I'll help you solve it. Yours is done your best is yet to come.